Hey, it's Linda E with the Linda E Reviews. I thought I'd bring this back for 2023 because I love watching movies and films. I love talking about them and I'm lucky enough to get to go to some advanced screenings and premieres. So I thought, you know what? Let me watch them and let you know whether or not it's worth you spending your money and going to the cinema or if you should just wait until they are available on streaming platforms. So... I've just seen Megan, and when I say I've just seen, I'm literally still in my car. I haven't gone home yet, right? Megan is a horror, comedy horror, comedy, no, horridy, horridy, is that a word? Horridy film? Comedy and horror, yeah, horridy, right? <laughs> it's a production by Bloomhouse and I believe Atomic Robot. And Bloomhouse do a lot, like they are everywhere. And I'm not gonna lie, you kind of recognize a Bloomhouse film when you see it. I do feel like Bloomhouse Productions they are trying to kind of be i don't want to say artistic they're trying to push the boat but they don't quite go far enough is how i feel um but you know a bloom house production when you see one and there is a certain level that they maintain which i appreciate when you go to see a bloom house film you know it's going to be at least a six out of ten like you know what i mean now megan 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 it's about this uh, little girl who loses her parents goes to live with her aunt her aunt makes toys and you know high-tech stuff and her aunt makes this kind of robot doll for her to kind of be a companion and help her through her grieving megan goes nuts right megan is trying to protect the little girl her name is katie and megan goes a bit too far in protecting her it's a bloom house film so you know there's some gore there's a little bit of blood i love horrors and i love things that make me scared and to be honest killers and clowns and dolls they don't really scare me the things that scare me are more like you know spirits and demons and stuff so for me this was never going to scare me the thing about this film is it's actually good but it's bad if that makes sense so it's so ridiculous that it's good like it is actually entertaining if you're going to the cinema thinking you're going to watch like a, a oscar worthy film or a horror that's really going to shake you in your boots that's not what you're going to get if you go into cinema wanting to be entertained then go and watch megan that doll will crack you up the thing is my car is called megan so now i'm looking at my car sideways like babe you best behave but yeah megan i definitely give it a seven out of ten there is a bit of blood I wouldn't say it's very gruesome, but I have quite a high tolerance level when it comes to like gruesome stuff. Like I said, I love horrors. There's so many funny bits. At one point, um, her creator tries to turn her off and Megan's like, well, hold up. I thought we were having a conversation. I'm like, oh, Megan. <laughs> so no i actually would recommend this film definitely seven out of ten it is entertaining it'll make you laugh and i actually do think there's a bit of social commentary on you know the use of technology in this modern day era how much we've become dependent on it how it affects the younger generation so i think there is a lot you know there's an under kind of message to the ridiculousness of the film but 100 percent, i would recommend megan and the way they ended I think there's going to be Megan too. And I'm not going to lie, I'm here for it. This has been the Linda E Review. If there's something you'd like me to review, drop me a comment, let me know, and I'll try and watch it. Like I said, I love movies. I love films.